Some big names linked to a big scandal this day. It involves the Bank of Credit and Commerce International, which has been shut down on evidence of massive fraud. Today, the focus of the investigation was on prominent figures in Washington, including a former Secretary of Defense, Clark Clifford. Here's our chief financial correspondent, Mike Jensen. Washington insider Clark Clifford and his law partner, Robert Altman, today were drawn more deeply into the BCCI scandal. Clifford was chairman of First American Bank, Washington, D.C.'s largest, and Altman was president. Both have claimed they did not know that BCCI owned their bank. But a secret 1989 CIA report, the text of which was made available to NBC News Exposé, alleges that the president of BCCI used First American to transfer money in and out of the United States, and that he told First American to keep quiet about it. Also, new charges by former prosecutor Charles Intriago that Clifford's law firm was the paymaster for BCCI's $35 million defense in a money laundering case. And in a Senate hearing today, when the former chief financial officer of BCCI was asked who attended meetings of BCCI's top management. From First America, uh, both Mr. Clifford and Clark Clifford and Mr. Altman Rahman also said a BCCI official in London threatened his life when he left the bank. If you open your mouth or if you go to court, I personally killed people in my life in Multan in Pakistan with, and I'll use the same gun on you. As for Clifford and Altman, uh, Senator Jesse the Helms the says they got rich through their connection with BCCI. The figures, it appears that Mr. Clifford and Mr. Altman had the opportunity to make about $33,300,000 in 18 months' time. Clifford and Altman won't comment. Their attorney says the figures are exaggerated, they never took their orders from BCCI, and they didn't do anything wrong. Mike Jensen, NBC News, New York.